Hello everyone, welcome to Homework Help. If you find the videos useful, please subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we'll solve this problem using the concept of vectors as velocity. So as per the problem, a small airplane has an airspeed of 244 km per hour. The pilot wishes to fly to a destination that is 480 km due west from the plane's present location. There is a 44 km per hour wind from the south. So in part A, we have to find the direction the pilot should fly in order to reach the destination. So the first step is to show the main directions and draw the vectors for the plane and the wind. Let's assume the pilot starts from point A and his destination is due west. So let's assume it's at point B. So the pilot wishes to fly from A to B and the distance from A to B is 480 kilometers. There is a 44 kilometer per hour wind from the south. So if the wind is blowing from the south, that means it's heading in the north direction. So we can draw a vector for the wind velocity in the north direction. We will draw all vectors in tail to tail format to understand their orientation with respect to each other. So I can use a different color for the vectors. So the wind vector is heading in the north direction. Now the pilot wishes to fly 480 kilometers due west. So that means the resultant velocity of the airplane can be represented by vector AB. because the pilot wants to go from point A to B. So we can see that the velocity vector for the wind is perpendicular to the resultant velocity of the airplane. Now the pilot wishes to fly due west and the wind is blowing in the north direction. So that means the pilot has to fly in a direction between the west and the south directions so that the wind pushes it due west. So there's a very important concept we need to understand to solve a problem like this one. So in our vector triangle, so this is the resultant vector because the pilot ultimately wishes to go due west and we know that the pilot has to fly at an angle between west and south directions. So this vector can represent the airspeed of the plane. And let's assume it makes an angle of theta with the resultant. And the third side in this triangle is represented by the vector for the wind. And this is a right angle triangle because the wind vector is perpendicular to the resultant vector. The north and west directions are perpendicular to each other. So this is the vector triangle we have to analyze to find the direction in which the pilot should fly. So we have to find angle theta. 
and this is a right angle triangle so we can use Sokatoa for angle theta we know the length of the opposite side which is the magnitude of the wind vector and the length of the hypotenuse which is the magnitude of the airplane's air speed so the formula for sine is opposite over hypotenuse Now we can do the inverse of sine. Now we can evaluate it. So I got almost 10.4 degrees. So the direction in which the pilot should fly is west 10.4 degrees south because the 244 kilometer per hour vector makes an angle theta with the resultant and the resultant is in the west direction. So the pilot should fly at an angle of 10.4 degrees from the west in the south direction. So this should be the final answer for part A. Now we can analyze part B. How long will it take to reach the destination? Now the pilot wants to fly due west and uh, the distance he has to cover is 480 kilometers. And the speed of the plane in the west direction will be the magnitude of the resultant. So we have to find the length of this horizontal side in this vector triangle. And since it's a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem. Now we can evaluate the square terms. Now we can subtract 1936 from both sides. Now we can apply square root to both sides. So I got 240 and the unit is kilometers per hour. So this is the resultant speed of the airplane and now we can use the formula for time. Time is equal to distance over speed and the distance is 480 kilometers and the speed is 240 which is equal to 2 hours. This means that it will take the pilot 2 hours to reach the destination. So this should be the final answer for part B. So these are the steps you have to keep in mind to solve a problem like this one. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.